Okay, we have Rich Taylor integral from the UNSW integration be 2020, finals number two. We have the integral of e to the x to the x times natural log e to the x to the 2x times x to the x to the 2x dx. Okay, to get started with this, the thing I noticed, in a lot of cases, I mean, there's a lot going on here with the exponentials, but in some cases we don't have e as the base. We're okay here and here, but like here we've got x as a base. What we can do to transform some of these x's is if we just have x, we can write it as e to the ln x. And so when you have something like, say, x to the x, just raising both sides on this to the x and multiplying it in, you can write this as e to the x ln x. So we'll make use of this, but the other thing I want to notice is we have something with a base here inside the natural log. If we could get the base to be e over here, then inside the natural log, that's going to simplify pretty nicely. So what we can do on x to the x to the 2x, I can create the x as e ln x, but it's raised to all this stuff, so then we can write it as times x to the 2x. So taking this and putting it back into the natural log with this expression, we're going to have natural log e x 2x times this thing, e ln x times x 2x. But then with the same base, we can add exponents, and now we have e x 2x plus natural log x 2x. But then with log properties, I can take this out front of the log, then we're just going to be left with natural log of e. So that part's just going to be 1, and we're just left with all this. So when we rewrite this, we can just bring that down. But what I can do is factor x to the 2x out, and then we can write it as x to the 2x times 1 plus natural log x. But now that we have this, we can take this, put this back into the integral where we have the natural log, and continue from there. And now from here, it's not really clear how this is going to work yet, but what I'm thinking is u substitution, just because we want to see what some of these derivatives are. And I think what I want to do is make my u substitution for this term right here. So now I'll just go ahead with this substitution. So I'll make u equal to e to the x to the x. And one thing to keep in mind when we take the derivative, we have a value, we have another way to look at x to the x, which is this right here. Now I'll go ahead and take the derivative. So first we have the base e, so this is just going to repeat. We're going to get back e to the x to the x. Then we need chain rule, take the derivative of x to the x, but I'm going to view it this way because then with base e, we're going to get this back again. So I could write that down, but then we could actually instead put it back in this form. And so this term I can write as x to the x. But then we need chain rule again on this thing. So it's kind of like over and over again. And for this, we're going to need product rule. So we want the derivative of this using product rule. The derivative of x is going to be just 1 times ln x. And then for the next part, we bring back the x, take the derivative of ln x, and that's going to be 1 over x. But then over here, of course, x times 1 over x, that's just going to be 1. But then what do we notice here? What we found for our du value, it's really similar to our integral. Everything's pretty much the same, but we've got one problem. I thought I made a mistake when I did this the first time, because instead of having x to the x, we have x to the 2x. And I double-checked it, and it's not a mistake. So what we need to do is we need somehow to work with this x to the 2x. Well, what I can do is actually break that up and rewrite it. For x to the 2x, I can write this as x to the x times x to the x, just noticing, same base, we add it back. Just noticing if you multiply it back together, you get back x to the 2x. And now doing it that way, we have an expression for du if we just group it this way, but we need to do something with this. But what I can do is try to solve for this using this equation right here. If I take natural log on both sides, what we have is natural log of u. Take the natural log on the right side, and that's just going to bring back x to the x. So for this expression right over here, we have this value of natural log of u. So now we can just go ahead and substitute this. What's going to happen is like everything is boiling down to du, and this is just natural log of u. But now we can just go ahead and integrate this. And I'm actually going to use the formula because this is a really common integral. This is just going to become u, natural log of u, minus u. And before I back substitute, I'm actually just going to factor out a u. Just feel like it. So I'll write it as u, ln u, minus 1. And then we can back substitute. So for my final solution to this, we just get e to the x to the x. Natural log of u is going to be x to the x times x to the x, minus 1, add a plus c. And that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from UNSW 2020. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.